In 1786, in what's now South Africa, a chieftain's daughter, Nandi, was impregnated out of wedlock by a prince of the Zulus. Due to the potential for scandal which could threaten her lover's place in secession, Nandi initially covered up the pregnancy by claiming she suffered from a disease called Ishaka, which caused women's bodies to bulge. So when she bore a son, she named him Shaka. Although initially allowed a place among the Zulu prince's lesser wives, Nandi was eventually expelled along with her son from the prince's house. Forced to seek refuge among various tribes, Nandi and Shaka faced several years of hardship together, strengthening their bond to the point where Shaka held his mother in almost worshipful reverence, even after establishing himself as the ruler of a great empire. When Nandi died in 1827, Shaka supposedly ordered a full year of mourning, during which time no crop would be planted, no milk would be consumed, any woman who became pregnant would be killed along with her husband. Altogether, 7,000 people were executed for not mourning sufficiently. Cows were slaughtered so that their calves would understand what it felt like to lose a mother. Some of you might have a mother you revere with this psychotic level of devotion. I hope that on this Mother's Day, you'll take a moment to express your love for your mother in a hopefully less violent way than Shaka. Happy Mother's Day.